Super Bowl MVP, Holy shit, ready dude. to go. What? It's Davey Mac, Dave McDonald. We can't. We can't. We can't run. Oh, Ronnie B. Yes. I, swe I swear to God, this is the best. Last night was the best day of my life. It was the best single day of my life, and I say this with due respect to the fact that I have two children and a wife. Last night was the best day, the most exhilarating day of my entire life. I cannot. I tried to sleep. I could not sleep last night. And I'm supposed to be boarding a plane right now. No, said, stay, said, stay. Oh, never leave. Never leave the best place of your whole life. No, I'm not. I'm not. Honestly, this is the best fucking city in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, fuck Paris and London and all these other bullshits. Indianapolis uh, is New York City times two. I mean, part two. Part two. <laughs> uh, Davey Mack, we worried about you because you stopped tweeting so early. I'm like, oh, please don't let him be asleep. Locked up. Please okay. don't let him be in jail. <laughs> this is what happened. So at, like, the second quarter, everyone's making a big fuss, and they're going, oh, my God, look at this. Who's this guy? And they go, oh, it's him. You know, it's like a big celebrity. And I could see it was like this, you know, handsome, older black guy. And I go, oh, my God, it is him. So I went up, and I put my arm around him to take a photograph. And I go, like, Lando Calrissian, because I thought it was Billy D. Williams. Well, as soon as I touched the guy, eight security guys tackled me. It was fucking Jesse Jackson. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, okay. So, oh. so all these security guys, they hit me. My phone instantly died. And I thought, yeah, that's it for me. I'm, I'm done. Oh, yeah, you should be done. <laughs> I know. I somehow was able to talk my way out of it. I'm like, I don't know where I'm from. I'm from New Jersey. I have a brain problem. <laughs> All true. <laughs> I know. So, Jesse J. And by the way, the Bur I heard you talking about the Berman picture. That was uh, taken with by me. I did the same thing with Jesse Jackson. I grabbed him by the neck. With one arm and the other arm, I took to take the photo. He's like, "Get the fuck off me!" He, he literally said, "Get the fuck off me!" I go, "What's so hard to to speak, Swami?" And he was all pissed off and stuff. That is now, so funny. The, the third celebrity sighting, uh, actually, there was four, but the other one. Now I saw him a little bit, but I think he was just like a little guy. But everyone was swearing that uh, Woody Allen was in the house. And I did see, like, a little guy. In no, the he's not going to go, though. <laughs> Seriously. He doesn't even go to the Oscars. <laughs> I did think it was a little bit weird, but people were swearing that it was Woody Allen. And then the last one was that one fucking guy from uh, AOMF. A.O., whatever, whatever the band's name yeah, is. Yeah, they're all the, good. Yeah, the guy but with the glasses. I'm going to tell you now, Dave, every little Jew from New York looked like Woody Allen to those Midwestern people. <laughs> now... So you do got to get on the plane because the parade is tomorrow. They're doing it really yeah, quick. Yeah. Are you no, going to make the parade, Dave? Yes, that's he what we did. You know, when we with you and thank you again for. I'm I'm like so buzzed for, just from the Super Bowl, not from blues or anything. Right, um, sure. So the last, <laughs> I, I hear the doubts, but uh, from the last thing, I was me and Pitsy. So uh, he instantly uh, texted me, "I'll see you at the parade tomorrow." I'm going to take my kids. I'm thinking. I'm going to load the kids into the minivan and go, you're seeing, you're seeing a fucking Giants parade, you sons of bitches. Here's the other thing that I'm willing to do, uh, and I only do this every four years, so okay. it doesn't go down that way. Chris Stanley is off for the parade tomorrow, oh, shit. where okay. he right. yeah. will yeah. have a day of drinking and partying. Get fucked up! Yeah, and yeah. hopefully... Videotaping and taking some pictures. <laughs> Get liquored up. So, David, yeah, uh, it's phenomenal that it worked out. What is your buddy's name who gave you these tickets? Aaron. Aaron was my pal. We also don't met up with Jeffrey Danger, uh, you know, the guitarist from the Cuertos. Did so you meet up with Harvey Danger at all? <laughs> no. um, so we were in the Jeffrey Danger was in the house. Jason Ruffian, our keyboardist, couldn't make it. But he was with us in spirit. I mean, he's still alive. Yeah. But I, I shouldn't say it like that. Yeah, I mean, he's not dead or anything. So, uh, and we just had, uh, oh, it was such a great time. And even on Saturday, I got in, and I walked on Washington Street, which they tell me is the road that they filmed the parade on Christmas Story. So it's like Christmas Story is one of my all-time favorite movies. I got to walk the Christmas Story parade. And then see the Giants fuck the shit out of Tom Brady again. It was amazing. It was amazing. By the way, we've already put up video on the iBang. 
of Giselle running down the receivers. And I'm sure people are going to be pissed, but she's fucking right. Oh, it's, it's she's right. Out. What the fuck? Oh, Wes Welker. Wes Welker killed that team. And the other thing is, um, it, the Super Bowl is the weirdest experience. I've never been to one before. But, it, it, you know, you're sitting next to Patriots fans, next to Giants fans. It was the weirdest thing. So I kept getting in trouble. The Patriots fans were these big bruisers from Boston and stuff. But I kept getting in trouble because, uh, what's, you know, the Robin Williams movie. But I kept saying, uh, Robin Williams is going to play Tom Brady in Happy Feet, part two. That's, that's and brilliant. They didn't write <laughs> <laughs> that seriously is a brilliant put down. So I'm so proud of you. Uh, they hated it. Could you imagine, though? I mean, this. Davey Mack gets the big viral video. Finally, he's recognized as a rapper. You, you beat so many of the pundits by predicting this thing early on your sports show is taking off berman even passes you the torch yep. jesse jackson uh the man who was there when martin luther king was murdered <laughs> sees his own life flash before his eyes as davy mack accosts him this is phenomenal it's yeah. it's so your week i can't believe it and uh, ready. listen to this shit are you ready for this so then tomorrow we're going to the parade friday I got tickets to see Guns N' Roses at Roseland. At Roseland, a club. I get to see Axel and Co. dominate in a fucking theater. And with the combine, combine with the Giants, especially with the Giants. You know, I, uh, I didn't cry the first Super Bowl. I think I was, like everyone, we were in shock. But this one, I was, I fucking, I was tearing You're up. You're just loving life. You're loving life. I was, I, I honestly was way more emotional for this Super Bowl than I was for the first one for some reason, or the, the first one with Eli, I should say. I mean, fucking, you know, the Sims and Oxteller ones. But, I mean, the, this one is way more meaningful. I don't even know why. I think it just means, you know, because Eli, like, yet again gets to prove everyone wrong. And, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I fucked the plane. I'm staying here first. No, you got, you got to come back and take your kids to the parade. I'm going to fuck off, but... I don't even want to go on a plane. I'll fucking put a. I'll, I'll bring a gun under the plane, then. Oh I don't even do that. No, Stop. that's Stop. what. That's nothing but parody, radio parody. That's right. He certainly doesn't mean that. You're just joking, and you don't mean it that way. No, but, I don't. No, but here's the thing, Dave. Come back home. When's your flight? The flight's supposed to be at eleven, but it's delayed. <laughs> it was delayed a half an hour. So now we're supposed. Yeah, we're supposed to see Mark Zito back here. Today, did you run into him in Indianapolis at all? No, I called him several times to see if I could just simply get into one of those serious suites. Right. Uh, and uh, he gave me a lot of runaround, a lot of excuses, but in the end, nothing. Just jack and shit, bupkis. I didn't even get a free, you know, I just wanted some chicken wings. I wanted to impress my friend. Right. He got me the ticket to the Super Bowl. I go, let him meet some of the big guys, some right. of the guys in the suits, and, you know, impress people. But no, Davy Mack came up short, just D like fucking Tom Brady, I came up short. Let me ever. tell you, it, it's only because Zito's a prick. That's the only reason. Oh, he thought, and he thought, when I called him, Ronnie, yeah. he thought that it was a big joke, that it was some kind of radio thing. I go, there, <laughs> we're not on the air. <laughs> There's no microphones <laughs> here. <laughs> Wait, what is... Why are you laughing? Can I come to like a serious after party or the Maxim thing? They had giant parties everywhere all week. I know, I know. So uh, no, I got, I got nothing. I harassed Iraq because I understood that his uh, chick or whatever was in the uh, Super Bowl, but Iraq didn't get anything handled for me. So you know, in the, in, in that instance, I was I could have went on the air or done something or sat in a you, you you would have been great for them. You could have been, you know, give them a chance to meet some of the air talent. That's but right. you know You know that's the their loss, is, Davey Mack. Yeah. But you know what? It doesn't it 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 stained for a little bit, Ronnie. And if the Giants had the Giants lost, I, I I would be genuinely furious at Zito. But you know, with with every with the Giants winning, oh man, my life is perfect. I was I I, li I was jerking off the Sports Center today. That's fantastic. I, mean, I literally. Yeah, I know. I know you mean it. Uh, and now you'll you'll masturbate every time you see Chris Berman on TV, just because <laughs> that will remind you of the greatest time. And he Berman actually said, "You get the fuck off me." Get the fuck off me because when I take the pictures, 
I always put my hand around their neck. <laughs> right, and they smart. Don't, they don't like that. But right. if you don't do that, they they have a tendency to walk away or tell the bodyguard, you know, get this guy away, get the loser away from me, this and that. But, you know, if I have them there with the hand, with my right hand, take the picture with my left hand, uh, usually I, I'm able to keep them there for a few seconds. But Berman said, get the fuck off me. He's a lot taller in person, too, Ronnie B. Why don't you just say you get the fuck off me, too? Berman. Like I already met Jesse Jackson. What do I care about you? <laughs> oh, man. And Jesse Jackson, that's a, that's a, that's a nice looking guy. I really did. Yeah, he is a handsome man. Yeah, I thought it was Billy D. Williams. I was like, oh, Jesse, all right. And eight people tackled you for trying to be friends with him. Yeah, because his security did not like that. They don't know. They think, oh, what is this? Some kind of guy, you know, trying Right, to they don't know you the way we do. <laughs> no, I'm not racist. What the no, sham, you're just you know? the opposite of racist. Thank you. I'm like a. Something pacifist or something. Yeah, your father was in the Peace Corps. We know that uh, you love Jesse Jackson. In Africa. In yeah. Africa. In Africa. Right. Perfect. You could have brought that up to him. Thanks. You don't understand. My <laughs> father went to Africa in 62. Don't you get it? <laughs> Jesus. Don't you see what's happening here? Lando. Don't you see what's happening, Lando? That's so still, fucking funny. He still, had the, uh, he still gives us the, my dad has a Congo, Congo drum from uh, the Peace Corps and stuff. Yeah, and, and Jesse Jackson, wonderful job. I can't believe, and by the way, what, what anyone will tell you, yeah. way more Giants fans at this thing than, oh, yeah. than uh, Pats fans. Because now, when the, the Pats lost, they, the, all the Patriots fans left out, and there were still, you know, 50,000, 55,000 people, all G-Men fans. Now, uh, Hicks has some phone calls that you made to him last night. Uh, if you, if do, This, I guess, is Dave at his happiest? The, uh, this this uh, this was after this was after the Giants won. All right, so Dave is completely happy, completely celebrating, uh, and this is. Uh, do you remember calling Hicks at all? Yeah, I actually remember. It was it was a great day of drinking, but no blackouts. I paced myself, and I do Perfect. remember calling him uh, late, uh, probably in regard to uh, our friend Zito. All right, let's take a listen. You're gonna keep that hand, baby. You're going to keep that hair, Solomon. And what I suggest you do is, when you shave the beard, I want a little bit to go onto Zito's fucking cockhead. Like a little fucking, like, like, like a little Gene Simmons wig on his cockhead. And I want him to, uh, to, to do a fucking cockhead fucking puppet show. G-Men, Solomon's hair, pepper. Uh, why, why do you call him Solomon? Is there any reason at all? or Because uh, of his hair. Because uh, I didn't want him to lose his hair. But why Solomon? Was the Solomon the guy who did no. the, the hair? No. Who was that then? Samson. <laughs> okay. Well, I thought it was Solomon. <laughs> I knew it was Solomon. <laughs> All right, so that's why you're calling him Solomon. You got another one, uh, Hicks? Yeah, this is <laughs> regarding Zito yet again. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I'm fucking eating chips and drinking beer at 11 o'clock in the morning. This fucking Zito won't get me into the serious suite. He won't do this, he won't do that. He, he's not telling me any of the names of the parties. He won't invite me to the maximum party. What the fuck is with this guy, Pepper? This Zito fucking character. He won't do this, he won't tell me where the post party is. With this guy, and then here I am. You know, I ask him. I call him up. And I go, Mark. Uh, you know, uh, can you get me into the uh, to the serious suite? You know, because I'm hungry <laughs> and I'd like some wings and shit. He says there is no serious suite. Oh, Fucking lie. That's a lie. That's all definitely a lie. Lies. It's all a lie. Go Giants. <laughs> go Giants. So this was, that was before the game when he was still yeah. looking for for fun. Uh, you got to remember that the the uh, Zito's just a little suit. He's a little Brooks brother suit. I know. He's not one of the fucking guys. No, I know. No one tried, but they don't understand. If you try a little bit, then everyone gets happy. I was. I agree. From these people, I, that's serious. I know. And I'm still an employee. I'm not going to fucking play, you know, screw around with those people. I don't. I don't do that shit. It's just with you know Jesse Jackson. I 